Hi everyone. Uh, recently, many customers complained that it's harder to use SRT in public network, uh, while it's easy to use PCRs in local area network. Um, hence, today we will talk about how to configure SRT with Kiloview PCRs and a DC230. Well, before we start, please ensure you have a public IP. Things is a must when using SRT for remote production. Well, I sincerely hope you can make it successfully after watching this video. The whole configuration can be divided into three steps. First, router or firewall configuration. Second, T2 encoder configuration. Third, DC230 decoder configuration. Now, let's move to step one, router or firewall configuration. Log into the page of router or firewall. Different routers may have different web page. You just need to find the port for words in the firewall first. Then, fill the string name, select the TCP and UDP. Internal and external ports can be chosen from 1025 to 65535. Here, we input 56,335. And please remember it, since we need to use it in the coming configuration of PCRS encoder and decoder. Then, fill decoder IP into the internal IP address. Please note that when using the PCRS 4G network for transmission, you must enter the decoder IP into the internal IP address. Since the decoder is located on the public network, that means which device is on the public network, you will use the IP address. For port forwarding, click Save, and the firewall or router configuration is done. Step 2. Configure P2 encoder. After log into the web page of P2, find SRT TS pushing in the H264 main string arrow. If there is no such a string, you can create one by clicking the Add a string below. Click the settings icon of the SRT TS pushing you found. A primary string SRT TS pushing parameters window will pop up. Select Yes in the Enable SRT. Color in the connection mode, view 56335 in the address and 125 in the latency column. And uh, the transmission delay can be selected according to your network. The general delay is 2.5 to 4 times the RTT time of your network. RTT is the time it takes for the network request to go from the starting point to the destination and then back to the starting point to initially confirm your network RTT time. Here is a simple operation. First, press the WNR button to open the command box. Then enter in CMD and ping the decoder's public network IP address in the pop-up command box. And here we enter 140.114.114.114. You can get an RTT time. You can try to get an average value several times. This value is the preliminary RTT time. If your network fluctuates greatly, a high delay setting is recommended. Click Save to complete the configuration. Step 3. Decoder Configuration Log into the decoder web page. Click the plus icon to add SRT source. Fill the source name. Select the source type as SRT. Connection mode as listener. Fill 56,335 in the port and 125 in latency. Click OK and the configuration is done. Suppose you drag the added source from encoders to the preview window of decoders and the video can be displayed successfully. In that case, the settings between KillView encoder and decoder are correct. That's all. Thank you. And if there are any questions you want to know, Feel free to reach us at info at